Hi, this video is brought to you by TechDirectArchive.com. In this video, I'll be showing you how to stop OneDrive from starting up automatically on Windows 11. Yes, OneDrive is um, a Microsoft service that you can use to back up your files. It can uh, sync all your files from any of your different devices. But for this video, I'll be showing you how to stop that OneDrive service from uh, uh, starting up automatically on Windows 11. Because by default, once you start your Windows 11 system, the OneDrive service will also start up. But I will show you how to automatically stop that if you do not want that service to start. So um, the first thing is um, to go into your task manager. We'll be looking at the startup apps list. So I'll be going to my task manager now. So once in the task manager, then you check for startup apps. As you can see, let me expand this. Let me expand it. So by the left here, you see startup apps. Just click on it. Yes, so now um, we need to look for OneDrive. Yes, I can see it here. This is OneDrive. This is OneDrive. So what you just need to do is to right click it. Just right click it, then you see Disable. Just click Disable and your OneDrive will be disabled. It will start up immediately um, you start your system. So that is one way. The other way is um, going through going through um, window settings. You can go through your window settings. So just you can search for startup. Yes. So you can start search for startups. So it's under window settings. So once you are here, just look for apps. This is apps by the left. This is apps, then you can check for startup. Startup, yes, apps that start automatically when you sign in. So just click on it. So it's going to display all those uh, applications now. My system is a little bit slow. Sorry about that. So it should come up now. You're going to display every application that will start with your system. Oh, let me let me start again. Don't know why the page. Okay, let me go to start up again. There are so many things running on my system, so that's why it's somehow slow. So now uh, it has opened. So let's scroll down there you are microsoft onedrive you can see it is presently on so what you just need is to switch this or toggle this to off and you are good to go so your onedrive will not uh, start up automatically that is another way um, the other way is to um, disable it from the registry so Let's go into, let's search for our registry, registry editor. Click yes. So once it opens, then we need to navigate to this, um, to this value. Let me get the key. So this is the key, this is uh, what we're using, the H key, current user. 
so we are navigating to run that's the last location so um i'm going to paste this here now when i click enter let me let me try again no worries oh sorry i didn't i didn't do it well let's go to let me collapse this so this so let me just paste this here then i'm going to break it i'm going to remove the ones i don't need slash slash just slash it that's just the directory So this that's the location so this is it is already here so just click on it and it will open so once it open if you check the right right uh, hand section here you see one drive here so this is one drive so just right click it and you can delete it but you have to be very very careful because um, registry is not where you just come and delete anything or you edit or adjust anything because anything you do here can make your system to start malfunctioning or it can even crash your system. So just try as much as possible to back up your system. I'm going to show you how to do the backup now. So um, you delete, once you delete, then the OneDrive uh, will not start up automatically. So, but let me quickly show you how to back up, how to back up your registry file so in case let's assume we want to delete this one drive now so all what you just need to do is to come to the to the um folder here that's the the root just export it export it you can export it to any location you want save it dot reg is the um format to save the file that's the file format i mean so just give it a name and you save it and once you save it in case there's an issue and you want to restore it back all what you just need to do is to come to file here then click import then you also go you navigate to where you save it initially then you open it and you are good to go so you just try as much as possible to always back up your registry file before you delete it so that is that then um the last uh, step i'm going to show you is uh, is from the command prompt so we are going to use so we are using command prompt so once you open it you can run this command this is the command you are going to run so this is the command so just copy it now and just paste it then you can run it it's going to remove that one drive and it will not be starting up automatically again so these are the steps you can take in uh, making sure your one drive does not uh, start up automatically on windows 11 so it's a uh, uh, very simple pretty straightforward and um, i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching